There is new information tonight in a teacher's sex case that has shocked the community. Former middle school teacher Stephanie Ragusa remains in custody, accused of having sex with one of her students. Today, prosecutors released a stack of documents related to the case. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson reports that investigators say those documents reveal there may be even more victims, Jeff. Gail, in this stock of documents, there are transcripts of recorded phone calls between Stephanie Ragusa and her former student. There is also a handwritten note from the student giving his version of three sexual encounters he says that he had with the teacher. Even under the worst of circumstances, under arrest and accused of having sex with the middle school student, Stephanie Ragusa has kept her smile. Until a courtroom appearance yesterday, the smile seemingly always there. But authorities say this is no laughing matter. Documents released today outline how investigators asked the student victim to call Ragusa to talk about their relationship, then recorded the call. During the call, Ragusa talks to the student like a friend, not a teacher, asking him, so, like, how many girlfriends are you trying to juggle at once? The student says, none. I haven't had a girlfriend this whole year. Ragusa says, yeah, right. Later in the call, Ragusa, referring to her boyfriend, says, but, you know, he would call the police. The student asks, oh, why? Ragusa, why do you think? The student, I don't know, I was just asking. Ragusa says, the age is illegal. It would be all over the news and everything. The student, oh, like that one Deborah LaFave thing? Later, Ragusa says, yep, it's no joke. I'm telling you, it wouldn't be from, because I don't want to wear an orange jumpsuit. And it wouldn't be fun for you because you couldn't leave your house without someone trying to shove a camera in your face, wanting to talk to you about it. Still, later in the call, Ragusa reveals that she knows what she is doing is wrong. She says, it's like a real old guy going after really young girls. You know, it's creepy. That's what they would see it as. These documents also reveal that Ragusa went to an eighth grade party with the teen that deputies say is the victim. Parents who hosted the party told the Tampa Tribune that Ragusa showed up to the party in a tiny tank top and a miniskirt holding a raspberry wine cooler. The father hosting the party says he took the cooler and poured it on the ground. The family says we were surprised she didn't look like a teacher. Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8.